the lean management system is like an engine for continuous improvement. And like any engine, it needs fuel. It needs fuel to keep running. And the fuel comes out of these activities that make up the, the system that we are asking leaders to be engaged in. So we go through all those activities. We make sure that leaders understand their role, you know, what the first the intent and purpose of those activities are, what their role in them is, because there's a lot of misunderstanding out there. A lot, like a lot of the lean tools, there's a lot of depth to them. And uh, unfortunately, a lot of organizations are just kind of scratching the surface. Uh, so we go over, you know, the leaders' roles. Um, we provide some tools for the leaders, things like leader standard work, to help them organize the, their activities, because it can be overwhelming uh, for leaders to not just, you know, engage in running the business activities, but also all this improvement effort that we're asking leaders to be uh, be involved in uh, and pursuing. We also cover the soft skills. You know, things like communication, organizing and planning, developing trust, motivating others. So we cover a lot. We believe we're covering everything that a, a person in a leadership role in an organization pursuing lean or, you know, whatever term you want to use, uh, continuous improvement in general. You know, they, they have all the tools and the skills uh, to be successful. So the lean leadership course is targeted for supervisors to CEOs anyone in a position to influence others. So sometimes we often will get attendees that don't have the title of a leader, but they're still influencing others. And, and that's the leaders that make it make or break a lean transformation.